Yes. Um, this is a research organized by Dr. Donedo at the Center for Autism and Developmental Disorders in Calgary. And uh, we did it in collaboration with Trisha Striano at the Hunter College in New York and with Link Lab in Cagliari and me at the University of Cagliari. So our st start point were the studies of Peter Mandy about joint attention that demonstrated that uh, an early indicator of autism is a deficit in joint attention and that uh, this deficit may be a compromise of future opportunity to learn a language, communication, and other social abilities. So we wanted to further investigate guys' direction detection which is a fundamental ability in the development of joint attention. And we consider that the evidences about gaze direction detection in children with autism are still very controversial. Some studies demonstrated that accurate A-gaze judgments appear problematic for individuals with autism. However, other studies demonstrated that this ability is quite intact in these individuals. So evidences concerning gaze direction detection in individuals with autism need to be further investigated. In our study, we aim to investigate if children with autism are sensitive to the orientation of an adult static A gaze in a, a relation to an object located within the visual field of the child. And to achieve this aim, we compare 21 children with autism aged between two and eight years and uh, without a uh, um, mental disability and with uh, 21, 21 typical developing controls matched for chronological age with participants with autism. And um, participants were tested with Tobai T68 tracker and the stimuli were a modified version of the one used by Trisha Striano in another study in 2008. And there was an adult uh, looking at uh, toward or um, in the other direction from an object and there was another uh, identical object in the other side of the adult head. Uh, so the two objects formed like a mirror image of the same object in the picture. And uh, we um, showed to the participant the stimuli with the to buy, and we just uh, told to the participant to observe the pictures on the screen. And in order to understand where the children were fixating uh, in the screen, we defined four areas of interest, the eyes, gaze target, no gaze target, and the background. And for every area of interest, uh, uh, we uh, measure the time to first fixation, which is, uh, uh, which measures how rapidly um, a child fixates for the first time a specific area of interest. Uh, the fixation count, the number of fixation within an area of interest, and the observation length, and an observation in the sum, sum of fixations within an area of interest without any interruption. And what we found very clearly was that the children with autism were slower in fixating the eyes there were slower compared to controls and also that the children with autism fixate for a fewer amount uh, number of times uh, the eyes compared to controls and also also the length of the observation were uh, shorter uh, to the eyes compared to controls. However, we didn't find any differences in gaze target uh, as well as no gaze target. So for this reason, we also counted the uh, number of times in which the children with autism were accurate, um, meaning that we wanted to know if they um, were using, were able to use the direction of the guys to locate the gaze target. And we found that, were, that they were as accurate control in this task as well. So we were curious to really uh, visualize the, the use of visual attention in these tasks. And we used the head maps, which is a plot that visualizes the major focus of attention of the children for each stimuli. And what we found was the children with autism uh, really overexplored the stimuli and the visual attention was directed to the white background, which is um, non meaningful for complete the task. Ask. So to conclude, we found that children with autism sees, seems as accurate as controls in locating referential objects in static gaze direction detection tasks. 
However, despite their success in locating the, the gaze target, they showed significant difficulties to focus on the eyes, which are the more crucial um, social stimuli in this task. So the results, our results really highlight the importance to track visual attention, to better understand the strategies that individuals with autism use to learn from the environment, because despite uh, good performance, uh, not different from controls, they really use different strategies, and this is very important for developing intervention and treatments for them. Thank you. Good.